The middle over here, that's the height. You can pinpoint this person, ah, the height energy is really, really in challenge. Like, sometimes, do you have this feeling? When you raise up your hand, you detect energy blockage for your friend. You know, left hand and right hand, doesn't matter, right? You hold your hand, and sometimes you feel this uh, a pinching pain in this part of the hand. This part, the middle part, that is the height. So sometimes, you do, do you feel it as a, oh, the other area, I don't feel too much. Just this area, I feel the pinching pain or the numbness under the thumb area or this kind of a numbness in the bottom of the palm. Why? So under, uh, under the you know, little finger, you know, so close to the bottom in this area, I feel, wow, there's a lot of a cold feeling. And then, so again, this area, you know, right under, underneath of the um, pinky finger, and then you feel, well, there's a purple color there. You know, the color is abnormal when I detect energy blockage. What does that mean? Well, you tell. The middle over here, that's the height. You can pinpoint this person, ah, the height energy is really, really in challenge. And this area, that's the liver. And the bottom over here, uh, the bottom of the palm, that is the kidneys, and the lungs over here, next to the kidneys. So you memorize this picture, you know, it's time when you, especially when you uh, determine how serious this person's blockages is or are, now this is very, very helpful. You know, if you feel this uh, a very strong sensation in any of these spots, that means very strong, maybe even life-threatening energy blockages in that part of the body. So you know, say, okay, now I want you to put up one hand, you know, left hand, right hand, doesn't matter. And now I want you to, at this moment, and find somebody in your memory who is in critical situation and then you scan scan from distance this person's energy field and see how that feels okay i give you two minutes all right now close your eyes and go through your memory at this moment and see who at this moment you can think who has a, a, a strong or serious energy blockages in the body. Uh, all right, now you lift up your hand and detect energy blockage. And see what part of the body has more serious energy blockage. Okay, scan. Just slowly move your hand turn, drop your elbows, drop your shoulder, stretch your fingers slightly open and detect, scan. Okay, from the head down to the feet. Breathe slowly and gently while you're doing so, and focus on the feeling of the hand. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Okay, now you can put your hand down, take a deep breath. So rub your hands and massage your face. So up to you, turn in. You put yourself in a very deep meditation, actually in seconds. 
So each time when you finish that, you need to rub your hands and massage your face to bring yourself back to <laughs> where you are doing now at this moment. Otherwise, you'll feel kind of not grounded, right? So make sure each time you do that. It's right here in between the index finger and the little finger in this corner. In this part, right? Right hand, this part, left hand, this part. So that is the part. If you detect blockage, if you ask this person whether uh, this person, uh, uh, the life is in danger, or there is uh, still hope or no hope to, uh, to help him, help her to continue his life, and then you focus and feel you see any sensation in that area. If you feel this uh, sharp pain or pinch nerve pain, like some people put a needle in, in that area, and that means this person not, uh, does not have that much time in this solo life. So um, the best is to do the preparation to help to uh, this person with the life transition, right? Of course, you still go all out to help this person, but you know the, this person's energy and, uh, is so weak. This uh, and some preparation you need to make now. Now, for instance, coughing in the lungs. Well, many people believe you know you have a cough or this person has a cough in the lungs and of course you are going to work on the lungs right well actually from the energetic perspective from the qigong healing perspective that is not the case it could be in the in the lungs but most of the time they're not in the lungs the blockages one time a, a, a gentleman came to me and he was skinny and he said he had chronic coughing for almost his entire life. No asthma, but just coughing, 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 tried everything he could. And Western medicine, Eastern medicine, but nothing could help him to stop that coughing. And of course, he, he told me a, f uh, a, a few items he, uh, he got from a Chinese medicine doctor. Um, so I look at it, it's, it's all about the lungs, you know, focus on the lungs healing. You know? Then when I detected energy blockage, I found out he had blockage in the kidneys. So by clearing the blockages in the kidneys, just within a few sessions, his chronic coughing, 15, 20 years, chronic coughing, completely gone. Isn't that amazing? Then there's another time, a lady came to me, also had this chronic coughing for a long, long time, and uh, like five, six years, and tried everything, nothing happened. Then when I check it out, that coughing was from the congestion in the liver. So I cleared the blockages in the liver, then the coughing stopped. 